here's a quick PSA to all of you trying to use a Breedlove mounts puck mount for a VHF antenna. Um, don't. Or if you do, do not use a 3 8 threaded rod antenna mount because I just purchased a NMO to 3 8 adapter from Tram, which is right here. And I have been struggling with high SWR. It never got below 1 to 3. I just hooked it up. I'm getting 1.1 1 .1 to 1 at 145 megahertz, right in the middle of the handband. Off of this Hustler CG144 2 meter high gain antenna. That's the best SWR I have ever seen on any mobile antenna. And it is solely because I actually put it on a proper mount. This mount over here, which is a 3 8 uh, threaded rod puck mount uh, with ball, like swivel joint. That thing has given me 1 to 3 SWR on this forever. And even when I did get it tuned down properly, I had to take the steel whip off the top of the antenna to get that to work. So there you go. Uh, if you're going to put up a high gain 2 meter antenna, buy a Breedlove Mounts NMO puck mount, and then put an NMO to 3 8 adapter on there if you want to use the Hustler. Pretty sure this is the only high gain... 2 meter antenna in existence that uses a 3 8 threaded rod and it's actually the only it's like one of two high gain 2 meter antennas so your options are limited there you go uh, I don't know about replacing the actual mount here with something from say a comet which is laying over there um, if you replace this with something other than a 3 8 you may also have similar good results this is a Chevrolet Suburban, so we've got plenty of grounding. 1 to 1.19. 1 to 1.1 1 .1 1 with 45 ohms. 145 megahertz. That's insanely good. Even if I take it up, 146 megahertz. 1.1. 1 .1. 147. 1 1.3. If I take it back down to 144. 1, 1 to 1 1.3. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Get an adapter. I tell you.